so today we will discuss about the femur bone which is the largest but not the longest it is the largest bone of the body and it forms hip joint with the cotyledonous cavity of the pelvic girdle and distally it forms a stifle joint so you can see this is the bone in cross section it appears round so it is known as round bone also then come to the borders and surface so you this bone is having four surface anterior surface medial surface and lateral surface and posterior surface so anterior medial and lateral surface are smooth but posterior surface is rough as you can see here posterior surface is rough next thing proximal end and distal end so proximal end you can see here this is the head of the bone this is the neck this is the shaft of the bone so head having depression that is called fovea capitis femoris and on the proximal end this is a the greater trochanter this is a trochanter and on the posterior surface you can see a small tuberosity like structure that is called lesser trochanter and this is the trochanteric ridge which is present on the proximal end of the bone and in between the head and greater trochanter this is a trochanteric fossa is present so this is the structure in this this head is remains attached with the cotyledonous cavity and forms hip joint and this round this fovea capitis femoris gives attachment to the round ligament of the intraarticular that is a intraarticular ligament which which binds this joints so next come to the posterior surface distally you can see a fossa here present that is called supracondyloid fossa and this is the supra lateral supracondyloid crest and this is the medial supracondyloid crest distal distal on the posteriorly it is present on the posterior surface then uh, what about the distal end distal end is having two condyles posteriorly and trochlea anteriorly this is the trochlea which forms gliding jo movement and join with the patella bone with the patella bone so this trochlea having trochlear ridge so medial is medially you can see this is large trochlear ridge is large medially and lateral one is small then these two condyles which are having in between them intercondylar fossa is present and this is the intercondylar groove which is visible then distally you can see here this trochlea remains attached with this condyles but laterally and laterally you can see a fossa that is called extensor fossa that gives origin to the extensor muscles so this is all about this femur bone proximal end head greater trochanter lesser trochanter trochanteric fossa and trochanteric ridge four borders anterior medial lateral and posterior posterior is rough anterior medial and lateral are smooth and distally it is having so supracondylar supracondylar fossa lateral supracondylar crest medial supracondylar crest two condyles and trochlea in between lateral condyle and lateral trochlea there is a fossa that is extensor fossa so this is all about this